mm -hmm. hope, but still just the experience of being able to do that as a freshman. Yeah, the, the experience was incredible, and I'm super, super grateful that I got to do it, especially as a freshman. And I know it's not the outcome that we wanted, but I would not trade that experience for anything else. I mean, we worked super, super hard to get to this point, and I'm so proud of this team for even making it. I mean, only two teams can say that they made it to the national championship, and we're one of them. So if you look at it from a different standpoint, like, we did have an incredible season. We, ha I mean played in front of 92,003 people, we won Big Ten, and we made it to the national championship. We might not have won, but it's a huge win in my book. I was going to say, when you reflect on this season, what is going to stand out most to you about this year and this group? Um, I think when I reflect on this group in this season, I won't reflect on anything volleyball-wise, just because I think that what's more important to me is my relationships that I've made with my teammates and just the amount, that, the amount of fun that we've had, and we've loved each other so well, and I just... They're truly my best friends, and I think that I'm going to look back more on just how much fun I've had with them instead of the volleyball side of things. With all the pieces coming back, I mean, what's the trajectory of this program in the next two, three years? I mean, yeah, we get to do it all again next year, and I'm super excited. I know that we're going to be hungry and come out with and like come out with even more fire next year. So I'm super excited to get back in the gym with them. Andy, can you identify what went wrong today for you guys? Um, I mean, you have to give credit to Texas. They played amazing. They were serving amazing. They passed really well, and it's hard to play against a team that's serving so well, and it feels like every time you side out, they just side out a little bit better. And so you have to give credit to them, and they did a really good job tonight, and I think we just came up short passing and serving-wise. How tough is it to put a block on Madison Skinner? I mean, she's going over and around a lot of your time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's a great player, and you have to give her credit as well. She did a really, really amazing job tonight against our block, and we have one of the biggest blocks in the country, and she did a really good job moving the ball around, so huge credit to her. For a lot of the freshmen, how much will a loss like this kind of fuel the next year for you guys? Uh, I just think it'll light a fire, fire in us. I mean, we're disappointed right now, but it's nothing that we can't handle. And I know the freshmen are super hungry. I mean, we came in here as freshmen and even made it to a national championship. So there's only up from here. Andy, can you describe your individual growth from arriving on campus uh, 11 months to this point right now? I mean, it was huge. I came in not even, I had barely run slides before. and. Not like my blocking was super, super low. I was definitely the worst blocker on the team coming in. And so I just have to give credit to my coaches. They've done a ton and my teammates have supported me the entire time. And I feel like I've truly not only grown as a person, but a player here at Nebraska. Exciting for next year to see what that growth looks like with super, another uh, year. Super excited. Although you're not leaving here with the result you want, what did it mean to be a part of a team that, that made women's sporting history this year? I'm so proud I can't even put it into words. I mean, there's no other team that I would want to go out with. And we've done incredible things this season. Like I said, played in front of 92,000 people. We won big tens. And it's just a lot of people can't say that they did that as a freshman, and let alone a group with no seniors. And so I'm just, there's no words to describe how proud I am of this team. Any message for Husker Nation and how they showed out? Just nothing else except for thank you. You guys have been incredible this season, and I am truly grateful that I get to be a part of Husker Nation. You guys are the best fans in the country, and there's no other place that I would want to be. Thanks for the time, Andy. Thank, thank you. you.